Oh, well, thank you so much. You look very handsome, everybody. Doesn't Malcolm from Australia look very handsome? Everybody is dressed so nice for tonight. Malcolm, tell us about yourself. Tell us what you uh, just shared with me, your background. Yeah, I'm a uh, colonel from the Australian Army. I retired after 35 years in the Australian military. And uh, I came to America in 2009. And my wife at the time ran for Attorney General in 2010. I was the cheapest campaign manager she could find. Oh my gosh, so you did it all for her because, oh, um, that's wonderful. Hey, thank you so much for coming tonight. Are you going to be at the parade tomorrow? Yes, I am, and at the inaug inauguration and also the, uh, the official balls. Are you here in any official capacity? Um, I, I was the political uh, campaign, uh, political director for California, and I was on paid staff. So, um, uh, in an unofficial way, I'm just helping out my friends here in uh, Washington. Well, I know that they appreciate that, and I certainly appreciate your time. Thank you so much for sitting down with us. Is there any service members from Australia or from anywhere around the world? Keep in mind that people are watching this live right now from all over the world. Is there anyone that you would like to give a special hello or shout out to? What I would actually like to say is that um, my mantra for the last 12 months has been, as goes America, so goes the world. And if America goes over the spiritual and fiscal cliff, my country is next and my daughters and granddaughters will not grow up in a country that gave the world the most important document the the constitution that gave freedom to man to pursue okay and uh, sadly we've forgotten that and if we can get that back america will uh, reassert itself as the beacon of hope and light for the rest of the world which it was which it was always meant to be that's right so hey Along those lines, can you share with us some words of inspiration then? Some words of inspiration for our nation. Okay, um, I would say to your nation, uh, turn back to God and, and trust in Him rather than the man and vote in people to key positions at both your town, district, state and federal level that have a moral and substantive um, uh, framework that is backed up by the Constitution. Remember John, uh, John Adams said in 1983, uh, sorry, 1783, <laughs> 1783, um, that a constitutional republic, which is what you are, you're not a democracy, a constitutional republic cannot survive without a moral and religious foundation. And that's what we've got to get back to. And believe it, and, and get rid of this liberal progressive agenda that's been pushed onto the American people for 70 years. Malcolm from Australia, thank you for your sharing. Thank you for your inspirational words. And we hope you have a wonderful evening tonight. Thank you. Thank you.